Hi Spice Fam, welcome back to another Christmas video. Today I will be showing you how I make sour glazed chicken. If you're interested, keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, put on your post notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Now let's get into this video. Here I have some chicken drumsticks and I have about a pound to about a pound and a half and I did um, clean it out by simply adding some vinegar to my water and allowing it to sit to get rid of the ring and I washed it really well. Also lime can be used as well. Next I'm going to take my fork and I'm, while it's still wet I'm just going to pierce the meat and that is to help with the infusion of the seasonings that will basically soak through for flavor. Here are the drumsticks and I did finish uh, piercing them. A knife can be used as well. So now what we are going to do, we are going to pat it dry and that is because we don't want too much water in the meat simply because we would be putting in or adding in some oil that helps with the juiciness of the chicken. So here you would see me with a tablecloth and I am going to place the drumsticks onto it and any meat as a matter of fact can be used such as chicken wing or leg thigh, leg and thigh or breast whichever part of the meat that you so desire. So now I am going to pat that dry and once I am finished with doing that I will come back to show you the next step. Here are the drumsticks all done, patted dry. Next we are going to move on to the seasonings. Here I have some green seasoning and if you have not seen that video I will link it in the description box below so you can have a look. It's something I believe that every household should have on hand especially around Christmas time because plenty of people tend to use a lot of meats. So you want to make sure that you season your meat beforehand and take it out to use it whenever you need to. So I have also some cayenne pepper for some kick olive oil, some dried basil and dried parsley mixed together and some salt for flavoring. So I kept it very simple and next we're going to move on to seasoning the chicken. I'm going to start off with the green seasoning followed by the dried basil and parsley and it just basically adds to the flavor followed by our salt and the cayenne pepper. Black pepper or white pepper can be used as well. Next I am going in with the oil and I'm just going to drizzle it all over the chicken like that. Just like so. And next we are going to massage it into or the seasoning into the chicken. So I'm just going to do that and I will come back to show you when it's done. So this is our chicken and as I said you can do this beforehand and simply just cover it and allow it to marinate overnight but I'm just going to allow it to marinate for a couple hours and then after that, after that I will come back to show you the next step. This is our chicken after a couple hours or so and we are next going to place it into a baking dish. This is the baking dish I'm using today so I'm just going to place the drumsticks like so and you want to place that into a preheated oven of 355 degrees. Okay, I'm just shift this one right here. Oops, next one here. So this is what it's looking like in here. Now I still have some of that oil and seasoning. I'm just going to pour it all over the chicken. We are not leaving anything behind. We are not wasting anything at all. Just like that. So as I said before, we are going to place the chicken into, or the drumsticks, into a preheated oven of 350 degrees for about an hour and a half to two hours. Now that would be depending on the oven that has been used. It may be more time or just a little less than the amount of time I just said. Okay, so now we're gonna place that into the oven and I will come back to show you when it's almost finished. While our drumsticks are baking, 
I am and actually it's halfway through I forgot to get a picture of that but we are going to move on to making the sour glaze here I have some soil drink and if you have not seen that video I will link it in the description box below here I have some freshly grated nutmeg and some sorry sorry not sorry <laughs> sorry is on my mind some cloves some sugar to help balance off the tartness of the sorrel drink I have here some water and some cornstarch that I will mix together and you will see as I go along and it helps with the thickening of the glaze as well as a cinnamon stick and bay leaf now I just added these spices for additional flavor it's not a must as the sorrel drink itself already has flavor packed into it so my pot is on medium heat and I am going to go in with my sorrel drink and followed by my spices as I said these are just for additional flavor you don't have to add them in anymore next I'm going in with the sugar and once I have added all of these I'm going to mix it until the sugar is melted so once the sugar is melted I will allow it to come to a boil so while that is happening, I'm next going to move on to my cornstarch. So here I have some cornstarch in a bowl and I'm going to add in some water and I'm going to give that a really good mix. The cornstarch basically aids in the thickening of the glaze. So once I would have done that, I will next add it to the sorrel. Once the sorrel drink starts boiling, I am next going to add in some of that cornstarch, which is the thickening agent. And as you can see here, as soon as I added that, it started to thicken. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix it around and allow it to boil for about a minute or so. And once it's done, I will remove it from the heat and also remove all the spices and come back to show you the next step. After about an hour and 45 minutes, I did remove the drumsticks from the oven and I am now pouring the glaze all over the chicken drumsticks and I will return it back into the oven where I will allow it to bake for about 10 minutes or so and then flip it onto the other side and do the same. Now, I did do that for about, about two hours to two and a half hours, I think. And of course that depends on the kind of oven that you use so this is a finished product of my sorry glazed chicken and I will plate and come back to show you the next step so here is a final plating of the sorry glazed chicken and uh, it looks really good it's a perfect addition to your Christmas menu especially if you're having your family over well not right now but you know what I mean and I also have some of the glaze remaining and what I would do I would reserve it for putting some glaze onto my ham and this is a perfect glaze for your ham as well thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to comment and let me know below how you make yours if you would have and if you would have enjoyed today's video don't forget to share with your family and friends somebody may be looking for something different to do with the chicken this year please share this video thank you as always and see you in the next one bye bye